Hello and welcome to Spring Bar Media's Active Tips. Today I want to take a different direction and take a look at some free iPad and iPhone apps for teachers. These 10 great apps are all free. The first one is Khan Academy and this iPad app allows you to access the Khan Academy library of over 2,700 videos. You can also add them to your queue to download them and watch them offline. The TED app allows you to access the TED Library of Inspirational Talks and create saved playlists for offline viewing. EduCreations is a great app that allows you to import photos and then use annotation tools to create interactive video tutorials. You save them and upload them to the website and then students can view them. Science360 is a really beautiful app that provides access to a library of science-related images and videos grouped together in this really beautiful eye-catching display. When students click on any of them, it brings up a whole bunch of information about that topic. Similarly, in the same vein as science, the NASA and NASA Visualization Explorer apps give you access to thousands of images, videos, and streaming NASA TV. It has great content on astronomy and the planets and NASA launches. How Stuff Works is an app that gives you access to great video tutorials and quizzes about a variety of topics. Most are simple enough for upper elementary school students and middle school students. But keep in mind this is for the general public and not education specific. So some of them have ads and some of the content is not appropriate for all ages. If you're going to use this in your classroom, you can actually create playlists where you can separate out the videos that you've already watched and check to make sure they were appropriate. And they'll be in a separate tab. Another app that's free is BrainPop, and it's great. Every day they put out one free video, and the video comes with a quiz. To access the whole library of movies requires a subscription. $6.99 for unlimited access per month, or $1.99 to access just the related movie section. But these great animated movies are really interesting to students, and they're all about different topics that are related to a variety of curricular areas. The World Book This Day in History shows you, a con shows you a concise timeline about what happened on a day in history with key facts, um, what people were born, and what had happened in history. There's no ads, but it includes links to purchase books on each topic from Amazon. UN Country Stats allows you to access and analyze data uh, that's been compiled by the United Nations. Students can choose up to three countries and then compare them on 40 different indicators, including population, government expenditure on education, internet users, employment, things like that. It allows you to save your graphs and come back to them later, and it also includes a references section so students can see where this information came from. And the last free app I want to talk about today is Flashcardlet. Teachers can make flashcards on Quizlet, and then with the Flashcardlet app, students can access them anywhere on their iOS devices. You can access pre-made flashcard sets from Quizlet, or you can customize your own decks of flashcards right on your iPad. I think this can really make vocabulary and word study fun. Also, a great way to review for standardized tests or review for class tests. Interested in further ways you can use your iPad in your classroom? Springboard Media has a wide range of professional development courses and workshops about iPads. Check it out!